that's what video and storytelling is about, right? It's messaging to change the way things are. Like just the fact that women are behind the camera. You have to do it yourself or it's not gonna get done. mother was a filmmaker. She had her Super 8 films and 8 millimeter films all through my um, high school years and when I was even younger than that. She would film us and film all kinds of things. My mom was a wife and that was what she was first and foremost and she wasn't a filmmaker in that sense that she didn't get paid. You know, it wasn't a job, it was a hobby that she loved. But, you know, as soon as her husband came home or something, or the kids or something, she had to put it all away right away, you know? And, but when she did it, she was so, so happy. I love being in television. I love every part of it. There are really amazing camera people and writers, but they're all film storytellers. So it was uh, really, an interesting group of people who knew how to tell a story quickly, yet thoroughly, and through the lens of a camera. I didn't want to be in front of the camera. Do I wanted to actually be behind the camera. I wanted to be the director. And it was pretty sexist. Uh, but then I didn't know that. It was so commonplace, so commonplace, that you, it wasn't like, who are you going to complain to? You're, you know? I mean, because... It was accepted even among the women. I remember being in the um, control room of uh, when I was standing behind these directors that I admired, and I remember suggesting things, suggesting moves, and they would say, it's not done like that, Heather. If you wanted to try something as a female, you were ridiculed. But, you know, whatever. I can't, like, even think about that. I have to move forward. While I was working at KGMB, someone from a local Hawaiian agency came to me and asked me to do a program about their agency. It was Alulike. He told me how much money he had and he wanted a Hawaiian to do it. And I just realized that this was my opportunity to learn how independent productions are done. And so I accepted the challenge and I turned around and I hired the premier cameraman in uh, KGMB, Grant Conchin, and Pamela Young as the writer. Together, the three of us produced a really terrific overview of the organization back in 1983. That was my film school right there. It cost $25,000. I got it. One of the things that we were really trying to push is more Hawaiians on TV, in front of the camera, but also behind the camera, which is how we conceived Enduring Pride, E Moana Ka'aheo. Aloha, and welcome to E Moana Ka'aheo. So that was conceived and uh, aired as a series, first public television, KHET, and then went to KGMB. And it was really fabulous. I mean, for me, Honestly, it gave me an opportunity to hang out with all these icons that I loved and adored. Rel Sun comes to mind. You know, she was the queen of Makaha Surf. She was an amazing human being. I loved her. But I met her through, really, through a camera on my shoulder. Being able to take my camera back in the 80s and 90s and go to each of these communities and document their story, it was so exciting. I did not know about how this was going to blow up into the media world that it did blow up into, but in my small world, I loved it. So everybody on the national side were doing this new thing called HD, but Hawaii hadn't done HD yet, and I pushed that we needed to shoot song contests in HD that year. And I'm telling you, there was a lot of pushback. Even though everyone felt they weren't prepared, that was a scare. But here's my theory. You're never prepared until you do it once, right? You always have to go through the first time. So I never fall for that anymore. It was beautiful. The song contest was un 
unbelievably beautiful. And uh, whew, that HD just lifted it. I like the creative, you know what I mean? I like when you can make something really better and really think outside the box and figure out how to do that. Okay, here we go, Poisson Crew. Um. <laughs> I don't have to fake it, it's so good. You um, take um, a guest, and ask them about their family food memory or their family food dish, and then you deconstruct that recipe, you make it here in Hawaii, and then you take that person back to the origin of that dish, and then you see where the original dish is made, and then at the same time, you meet community, and then you, and then you relate that the communities are just really family. So family ingredients is what I do. My work stems from my love of my community. In the Hawaiian community, everyone um, has a cultural specialty. I consider what I do part of that oral history, chanting, documentation. So family ingredients is um, an extension of that. It was about preserving our stories and our history. So we get the grants to send it to the mainland or we do the digitization ourselves here at this facility and we unwrap this gift for the maker. And it is really not just chicken skin, but just to see, you know, people cry. Cry. They haven't seen this stuff in 30, 40 years. And they look at the work that they created one Sunday we'd have a Christian lesson, the next Sunday we'd have a Hawaiian lesson. Well, I couldn't tell the difference. I thought the Hawaiian stories were as Christian as, uh, as any of the stories. That's the other thing, is you get to hear voices of people so who passed away that had been such a huge part of community. That strengthens a community and gives a community a sense of place and gives a community a sense of past and future. And that is now useful archival material that is going to be taken care of forever here at the Archive. Something like that. While everything is changing all the time, you have to jump in at one point. You can always say, oh, I shouldn't buy that camera because the technology is going to change, it's going to change. It's always going to change. You just got to commit and jump. And when you do that, you succeed. So what's next? There's always something next. Because you know why? Because there's always technology changing, changing, changing. And so you have different ways of being able to tell that story. Mm -hmm.